good day Miss Leland Reyes and classmates. Peace and goodness be with us. I am Regan Cabellion, together with my groupmates, Maricael Bocag, Clint Constantine Buok, and Chris John Lawrence Bryan. We are the group three, and I am the one to report presentation. Welcome to History 101. The topic we are going to present today is about contextual analysis of primary source of the Philippine history, which is about Boxer Codex. What is Boxer Codex? It's a late 16th century Spanish manuscript that was produced in the Philippines. The document contains 75 colored illustrations of the peoples of China, the Philippines, Java, the Molocas, the Landrones, and the Siam. About 270 pages of Spanish text describe these places, their inhabitants and costumes, and additional 88 smaller drawings show mythological duties and demons, and both real and mythological birds and animals copied from popular Chinese texts and books in circulation at the time. Description and Contents The Boxer Codex is a manuscript written circa 1590, which contains illustrations of ethnic groups in the Philippines at the time of their initial contact with Spaniards. Aside from a description of and historical allusions to the Philippines and various other Far Eastern countries, it also contains 75 colored drawings of the inhabitants of these regions and their distinctive costumes. At least 15 illustrations deal with the natives of the Philippine archipelago. History and Provenance The Boxer Codex does not bear any direct statement of authorship or dates of production and there is no dedication that might indicate who was the patron of the work or for whom the work was intended. Based on the contents of the manuscript, it can be inferred that it was written in Manila during the early 1590s. It is believed that the original owner of the manuscript was Luis Perez das Marinas, son of Governor General Gomez Perez das Marinas, who was killed in 1593 by Sangli. Sanglis means Chinese living in the Philippines. Luis succeeded his father in office as Governor General of the Philippines, since Spanish colonial governors were required to supply written reports on the terrorist D governed. It is likely that the manuscript was written under the orders of the governor. The manuscript's earliest known owner was Lord Elchester. The codex was among the remained in his collection when his estate, Holland House in London, suffered from direct German ceiling on September 27, 1940, during the Blitz. The manuscript was auctioned in 1947 and came into position of Frop Charles Ralph Boxer, an authority on the Far East. It is now owned by the Lilly Library at Indiana University. The Boxer Codex depicts the Tagalogs, Visayans, Zambales, Tagayanes, or possibly Ibanags and Negritos of the Philippines in vivid colors. The technique of paintings suggests that the artist may have been Chinese, as does the use of Chinese paper, ink, and paints. Picture of the illustrations in the Boxer Codex. 
Natives of the Philippines. First is Nite Bisayan Oripon, sleeves adorned with gold, or in Tagalog, Alipin. Tagalog Maginoo, noble class, wearing blue, the distinctive color of his class with his wife. Maginoo means in Tagalog, the Kapampangan means Gino, and the Bisayan is Tumau. Tagalog royalty in red, the distinctive color of his class with his wife. Tagalog royal couple in red, the distinctive color of their class. Bisayan Kadatuan, with his wife wearing red, the distinctive color of their class. Bisayan Kadatuan couple. Pintados, possibly Cebuano or Waray, from Bohol, showing their patok or tatus. A pintado, possibly Cebuano or Waray, couple of the Timawa or Tumau, which Marshall Feudal class later demoted to Friedman status. Pintados are Philippine native to the whole Visayas the southernmost island of the Luzon and many parts of Mindanao. They are the largest ethnic group in the geographical division of the country when taken as a single group. A lady from the Cagayan Valley, possibly Ibanag. Ibanag means a minority numbering a little more than half a million people who inhabit the province of Cagayan, Isabela, and Nueva Vizcaya. Aniti Binukot Lady. Binukot means a pre-colonial Visayan traditional from the Philippines that secludes a young woman with the expectation that seclusion would result in a higher value place on the girl by Marshall Sitor in the future. Warrior from Cagayan Valley. A couple belonging to the Zambal warrior hunter class. The image shows culture of falconry. Zambal warrior from Zambales. Zambal people are a Filipino ethnologistic group living primarily in the province of Zambales and the Pangasinan. Municipalities of Bulinao and Ada. The term may also refer to general inhabitants of Jambales. Zambal hunters hunting. Aita or Negritos warriors. Aita is a collective term of several Filipino indigenous people who live in various parts of the island of Luzon in the Philippines, and Negritos refer to uh, several diverse ethnic groups who inhabit isolated parts of Southern Asia and the uh, Andaman Islands. Other residents of the Philippines, Molokan warrior from the Molokas. Molokans are the Austronesian-speaking and Papuan-speaking ethnic groups indigenous to the Maloka Islands, also called the Molokas and historically known as the Spice Islands, which as a region has been annexed by Indonesia since the end of 1950. Tartar Likely Mongol, noble with wife from Tartari. Tartar is an umbrella term of different Turknic ethnic groups bearing the name Tartar. 
ethnic Vietnamese couple from Kopchi. Japanese warrior with a spurred and shell from Lawa. Siamese. Thai warrior with wife from Siam, Thailand. Warrior with Japanese sword and armor, possibly a mercenary from other Southeast Asian territories. Japanese couple of the samurai castle in Yokota. Two Chinese general in the pre-colonial Philippines or Ming Dynasty Chinese. And the last one is Chinese couple popularly known in the colonial Philippines as Sangli. Sangli means mestizo which are person of mixed Chinese and native Filipino ancestry, respectively during the Spanish colonial era in the Philippines. That's all of my reports, and we are going to answer the five questions about the contextual analysis of primary source and answer by Marikal Bokag. Good day, Ms. Lilan Ries and classmates. Peace and goodness be with us all. I am Marikal Bukag, and I am the one who will answer the five questions. Question number one. What is the primary source about? The primary source is about Boxer Codex. Question number two. What is the background of the primary source? Boxer Codex is also known as the Manila Manuscript. So the manuscript was named after historian Charles Ralph Boxer. It consists of 612 pages, 314 with text, 97 with handwritten illustrations, 4 missings, and 197 blanks. The Boxer Codex was a symbol in Manila sometime between 1591 and 1595. Question number 3. What is the context of the primary source? The context of the primary source is the manuscript. Question number four. What is the denotation and connotation of the contextual analysis? The denotation of the contextual analysis of Boxer Codex is that it is a late 16th century Spanish manuscript and it was produced in Philippines. The document contains 75 colored illustrations of the people of China, Philippines, Java, the Moluccas, the Landrones, and the Sham. The connotation of the contextual analysis of Boxer Codex is that it is one of the salient documents for the study of Philippine history. Question number five. How relevant is the context of the primary source at present times? All of us know that primary source is a manuscript, interviews, speeches, diaries, autobiographies, or any source of information created during the period under study. The primary source puts you in touch with live accounts of events. They can help you make personal connections with past events. That's all, and we thank you, Ms. Lilan Reyes, for listening. God bless and goodbye.